Hey there, welcome to day 332 of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we are on step five of our goals process, which is to identify milestones and measures and track progress. How do we know if we're moving from where we are to where we want to be with respect to our goal? And our action item today is going to be to identify milestone or milestones, as well as how are we going to measure? How are we going to know if we are and have achieved that particular milestone along our way to achieving our goal. So for example, I'll share mine. I broke my goal down into eight steps, right? Eight distinct things that have to happen. And there's of course subsets to each of those things that have to happen, but I wanted to come up with them and I will today come up with a milestone and a way to measure each one of those eight steps. You might have, you might not want to do it that way. You might just want to have a couple, maybe two or three ways to measure and then maybe three or so milestones along the way to achieving your goal. The reason I like to have milestones and, and little goal posts along the way is because it's easy, as I, I mentioned earlier this month, to lose track of what we're doing because life gets in the way and gets super duper busy. And if we don't automate and put things in place to check our progress, we can find ourselves a couple of months down the road realizing that we had not put in and done the things we had planned on doing with respect to a certain goals in different areas and aspects of our life. I did that with a financial goal that I set for myself early in the year. I think it was June maybe. And then spiritual as well, which was April. Uh, I've been working on some spiritual things, but not the thing that I had said I was going to do earlier in the year as part of this challenge. So in order to catch up on the challenge, I'm combining my spiritual goal and my financial goal with my contribution goal that I just set last month in October. So it's kind of a win, win, win in that I can catch up on my goal in all areas, in, in all three of those areas of my life by doing these eight things. Now, I'm not going to have all eight of these things done 100% by December 31st, which is the end of the year. This is our annual challenge. So what are we going to have done by the end of the year? But by identifying the milestones and the measures and tracking the progress and using our entire goal framework, I'll have it all set up so I can roll right into my goals for 2024, which I think that's what we're going to do next month. We are going to focus on December um, since we've kind of summarized what we're doing so far, wrapping up the goals for 2023 and rolling into 2024. I don't know about you, but my goals are never ending. I don't you know, achieve a goal and then I'm just done with that area and aspect of my life forever. I just find the next thing. I learned early on when I was younger that when I achieve my goals, it feels really, really good for about 10 seconds, sometimes a minute, sometimes a couple of hours, depending on how big the goal was and how hard I had to work to achieve it. But for the most part, there's this huge letdown after I've achieved a goal or an objective. And maybe it's just me, but I found that by making sure I'm always setting the next goal, the next objective, the next challenge, I don't get that big drop off and let down that that used to happen when I was younger. So our action item today, identifying milestones or my, a milestone or two or three, whatever seems right for you by the end of this year. And then how are you going to measure it? How are you going to know if you're making progress toward that or not? And that's what the milestone measures are for. Hey, if I hit this milestone, then I know I'm making progress toward my end goal. If I hit the next milestone, then I know I'm making progress toward my end goal, et cetera. Any questions about this? There's a write-up. Of course, I've used my personal goal for this particular time through the goal process as an example in the write-up in Guide 17 of the Get Up and Go Challenge private Facebook group page. But if you have any questions at all, ask. Please, please, please ask. We're getting toward the end of the year. We're getting, you know, day 332 of our challenge. It's only 365 days in a year. So I want to make sure that you get your needs met. All right. Have an awesome day. And I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.